All right, fig lovers, this is Ross the Fig Boss. Today's video, we're gonna answer a very common question about figs that I get, especially right now as we're approaching the colder weather, especially as we're approaching the winter time. We're in the fall, and a lot of my trees actually behind me are starting to go dormant. These container trees have finished their harvest for probably almost some of them a month now at this point, and they've decided, you know what, the season's over, it's getting colder, I'm gonna start dropping my leaves and start going into dormancy. And this is signaling to people, well, if my tree is dormant, is this the best time to be pruning them? Or if they're not dormant, will they ever go dormant? And also, can I still prune them when they're not in dormancy? Well, to be honest with you guys, the best time to prune them is actually when they are dormant. Some of you guys in the Florida or tropical places may actually not uh, see a dormancy process. Now, you can strip off all the leaves off your trees, really lower the water in the soil if that's an option, and your tree may actually start to go dormant on its own, even without the colder weather that those places that don't actually have a true dormancy uh, ever see. But here in the Philadelphia area, and for most of us in the country, uh, and even most people out watching outside of the country, we have a dormancy period, and usually that is triggered by colder weather. Um, this colder weather, although these trees here are starting to lose their leaves, the in-ground figs, as an example, have not really yet gone dormant. In fact, a lot of them are still fruiting and will continue fruiting all the way up until frost and even past frost. As an example, this Rondé Bordeaux tree which has produced probably close to, if not more than 300 figs this year, is gonna produce figs all the way up until frost and, and past it. So this tree really is just gonna keep going as long as the weather allows it. And it will never really drop its leaves before that frost comes in. We need to see roughly two or three frosts here for all of my in-ground figs to truly go dormant. Once they go dormant, then we can do our pruning, and that's really, in my opinion, the best time. Why is it the best time? Because if we prune right now, you'll see a lot of sap that comes out of our trees. The sap is a lot of the energy that's stored within our, our trees, not just actually figs, but other trees as well. Think about maple trees. The sap rises, actually, those carbohydrates rise from the roots in the wintertime, and then we tap the trees to capture some of that sap and process it into maple syrup. That is carbohydrates that the tree needs and actually is beneficial to the tree to have. So I would like to capture as much of that, that carbohydrate, that sap as possible, store that into the roots in the wintertime so that in the spring when it wakes up, it has as much carbohydrates as possible to perform the best it can in the spring. So I like to wait. One test you can do is actually prune off your figs just a little bit off the top, and if you see sap flow come out of there, it might be um, time and an indication that your tree is still not truly dormant. So that's one big way to know. Of course, even if the leaves actually have still fallen off the tree, a lot of people still may see the sap flow continue, and it's just kind of inevitable. I would wait as long as possible, in my opinion, to prune um, before harsh weather comes in. If you're starting to see temperatures in the low 20s, you definitely wanna get off a lot of pruning off your trees if you're gonna be taking them as cuttings, if you're gonna be taking them uh, and selling them. Uh, for everybody else that's not really into selling them like I am, then uh, you guys can just prune it in the spring. In fact, there's no real uh, rush. Wait until your tree actually even slightly wakes up. See what's alive and what's not alive. Assess where the damage is on your tree if you have a harsh winter uh, climate and see where that damage is in the spring um, and then do your pruning cuts. There is no real rush to do this now. I know people want to get this done and over with in the fall, but uh, really the winter and also the spring are the best times to be doing this pruning. So thank you guys here for watching this one. Please, if you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button for me. Hit the like button. We'll catch you guys for the next video. Take care.